Hello, this is Bobby with Iconic Autos in Scottsdale, Arizona. And today, I'm just a short video on this beautiful 1930 Model A Roadster. This is a cool little car. Actually, I found in Tucson, Arizona. Um, cool history on this car is this car is restored in 1972, 1971, 1972. And it's still, this is the way it was restored. We All we did was clean it up. But it was a really nice restoration. I mean, it's a 50 year old restoration, uh, which is crazy. It's held up actually amazing. A few little flaws here and there, but uh, just an amazing older restoration. It was done by a, a member of the Model A Restorers Society or Club, if it was called, but it's in my ad. Um, but it was done correct. I got like pictures of the car while it was being restored. Uh, back in uh, in the late 60s, early 70s, or black and white, where it's off the frame and everything. Uh, letters where they got NOS front and rear fenders for it when they restored it, and they got the right uh, Naga hide interior and the correct uh, top material. So it's all done correctly. It's got the push button uh, starter on it. Um, it's just a really cool car. Correct colors. Um, I think it's Washington blue with black. Um, fenders and like a cream wheel and pinstriping um really cool there's pictures of this car when it was finished restored and it was on passport transport truck in 1972 and literally these tires were on the car these are 50 old tires and you can see how well it's been taken care of obviously you're gonna drive around and probably replace the tires but they're really cool they're my gummy ward tires but all the chrome's good on it uh, it's a really well kept car um, so his car is from Iowa, uh, I trace it back from the 60s, Iowa, where it was restored. Um, then it went, it's been in Scottsdale, Arizona, uh, last 20 years in Tucson, Arizona, and back here to Scottsdale. So it's been a really Southwest car. Um, uh, as far as paint, it's actually, it was a damn nice paint job on this car. Um, a couple, little, I'm just going to show, a couple little spots of, you know, just normal wear. Um, this little lacquer paint job, just a little crazing down here on this piece. Honestly, I'd leave it. I wouldn't start fixing anything. It just it's kind, of, kind of speaks for itself, you know. Thanks. So right there, you got a couple little crazy marks back here, a little bit up here, and up here. Yeah, we'll be looking for the stuff. It's got the dual tail lights, it's got a deluxe ad, it's got a locking spare tire and hard boot, hard tire cover. Um, it's got an accessory step here, filler panel there. I think the, the trim rings are accessory. Top's in amazing shape. Doors fit excellent, doors don't sag. And this part right here is also the same spot that's crazy. So you can touch up a couple spots in the car and it'd be beautiful, or just leave it and uh, tell the story. All the glass is excellent, the rear the wing windows are excellent on it. I have plenty of pictures under the hood. Got the store society there. Um, we'll take it for a spin here. All the wood's good underneath there. Uh, steering wheel, beautiful shape, two little hairlines. It's got the pinstriping there. The little map cover. Um, Got the uh, rumble seat. We got the side curtains are there, and the rods are under the seat. Uh, the glass, the side curtains, the glass is a little yellowed. Again, they're 50 years old. Let me get in this baby. Go for a spin. So, turn that. I'm just, this thing actually starts right up. You don't have to like mess with anything on it. Uh, these are your lights. This is the Hoga horn, but it does not work for some reason. It shows 67,000 miles. You got the accessory oil gauge. Uh, and the vacuum wiper still works. Let's take it for a spin. When I got it, it was just it was sitting for the last like six years, and we just kind of went through it a little bit. Fired right up, new battery, and uh, maybe just drives like, a, like it did in 1930. And they're non synchronized gears, so you're going to get some noise. 
it's a really nice driving car actually. It's crazy, this thing's like almost 100 years old. So we're come right to a stop, put the gears back to first. Reverse works great. I literally drive this thing with one hand. history behind it and there's one that just like was restored back in the 70s is almost like it's original you know i mean not many cars from the 70s lasted so imagine our restoration for the 70s um but cool car definitely any more questions give a call drop an email or a message um and we're welcome here in scottsdale come take a look at it so thank you very much and uh have a great day there's tons of pictures online to look at bye